First, I'm going to analyze the problem. After reading the problem and visualizing and making a movie in my mind about what's happening in the story, what information do I know? Well, I know that there are 12 tables in the library and then each table has five chairs. So that means one table has five chairs. That means every table has five chairs. What is the problem asking me to determine? Let me read the question again. How many chairs are there in all? The problem is asking me for chairs in all. That means all the chairs at all of the tables in the library. The problem tells me there's 12 chairs, but it doesn't tell me how many chairs are in the library. All it tells me is that one table has five chairs. Next, I'm going to plan and solve. What operation is implied by the problem? Well, I'm trying to figure out the number of chairs in the cafeteria. So that means I'm joining. That would be addition or multiplication. Let's see, what strategy can I use to solve the problem? I'm going to draw a strip diagram to help me figure out if I'm adding or multiplying. So here's one table. I don't want to draw all of my tables. So I'll just put an ellipsis. So there are my 12 tables. Here's table one with five chairs. All of these have five chairs. And table 12 has five chairs. So these are all of my tables. So I can add five plus five plus five plus five plus five, or I can just say 12 tables times five chairs. And I know that's 60. Now I'm going to justify and evaluate my answer. How does my solution process help me answer the question? My picture shows there are 12 tables and each table has five chairs and that shows me all of the chairs in the library. Let me check my work to make sure. 12 is composed of 10 and 2. I know that 10 times 5 is 50 and I know that 2 times 5 is 10. 50 plus 10 is 60. Answer, 60 chairs is correct.